I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. So Lauren Boebert took to the House floor and said that she and the Republicans are demanding that they be referred to as ultra MAGA. I kid you not. This is what she said. But you then have to watch the response by Democratic Congress members Hakeem Jeffries and Jamie Raskin. Play the clip. Um, that was that was great. Um, you know, we are addressed as MAGA extremists, extreme MAGA Republicans. And I would like to make um, just a clarification point. It's ultra MAGA. That's what we prefer. Yes. And we get three pages calling for reports. The so-called rein in act. Here's what we should be reining in. We should be reining in the extreme MAGA Republican effort to cut Social Security. We should rein in the extreme MAGA Republican effort to cut Medicare. Rein in the extreme MAGA Republican effort to criminalize reproductive freedom and impose a nationwide ban. Rein in the extreme MAGA Republican effort to crash the United States economy and default on our debt for the first time in American history. We should be reining in your effort to hand over sensitive security footage from the January 6th violent insurrection to an avowed conspiracy theorist. That's what we should be reining in. And uh, yet the, the, the general lady from Colorado said, um, if I understood it correctly, that she would continue uh, with her deliberate mispronunciation of the name of our party in its adjectival form. And by the way, she took the opportunity to raise the whole question of MAGA, which I had not mentioned. And she said, and when you call me MAGA, don't call me MAGA, call me ultra MAGA. So when the minority leader referred to the extreme MAGA element, which appears to be driving the train over there, he should have called it the ultra mega element out of deference to the general lady from Colorado. And I certainly will be able to honor her wishes in the future as she chooses to be described as ultra mega. And with that, I'll reserve. And here's Jamie Raskin saying, look, if they can't correctly pronounce the name of our party, then just call us democracy. Play the clip. You know, we started this series of amendments by talking about the fact that they have this self-imposed political speech impediment. They can't correctly pronounce the name of our party in its adjectival form. But you know, I thought of a solution to this because I was reading a great book by H.W. Brand about Franklin D. Roosevelt called Traitor to His Class. And in the book, he's got a bunch of Roosevelt speeches. And you know what President Roosevelt called our party? Not the Democratic Party, much less the Democrat Party. If you can't pronounce it, do what Roosevelt did. He called us the democracy. The democracy. He said, the economic royalists, the corporate plutocrats, say you invest in the wealthiest people in society, some of the wealth will trickle down on everybody else. But the democracy says you invest in the great working middle class of America, we will all rise and prosper together. That's the doctrine of the democracy. If you can't pronounce the name of our party, just call us the democracy. That's what we are today, because we defend the right to vote, and we defend free and fair elections, and we stand by the results of elections. And we defend not only the country and our democratic allies all over the world, as in Ukraine, we defend this body, we defend this chamber, we defend the capital of the United States, and we defend the interests of the working majority of Americans. So the American people are not asking for more reports and more bureaucracy, they're asking for action. And that's what the Biden administration and Democrats in Congress are giving them. I was and just so you know what Lauren Boebert was responding to, this was from the day before where Democratic Congressman Jamie Raskin explained this is what you are supposed to call the Democratic Party. Play the clip. I wanted to make a, just a brief semantic point because the general lady was making a, gram, a grammatical error that I heard some of her colleagues make before. Um, I believe she referred to a Democrat solution. I heard another member talk about a Democrat member and a Democrat plan. I just wanted to educate our distinguished colleagues that Democrat is the noun 
When you use it as an adjective, you say the democratic member or the democratic solution or the democratic plan. And so I assume it's a good faith grammatical error the first few times. But after people are corrected several times and they continue to say it, it seems like it's an act of incivility. As if every time we mentioned the other party, it just came out with a kind of political speech impediment like, oh, the banana Republican party. As if we were to say that every time we mentioned the banana Republican member or the banana Republican plan or the banana Republican conference. But we wouldn't do that. So out of pure political courtesy, when it's an adjective, refer to the Democratic congresswoman or the Democratic member. Now, having said that, I'd like to uh, say that I favor the Boebert Amendment. I think it's really the Raskin Amendment because none of them apparently caught the fact that their reporting requirement wasn't to be published until I told them. I actually read the bill and I said, you know, there's no publication of it. So this amendment follows through on the fact that I pointed out to them that they, their bill didn't even call for publication of the inflation information which they thought was so essential. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to support the Boebert Amendment because I think I'm the genesis of it. And with that, I'm happy to yield back. And when one of the MAGA Republicans, I mean ultra MAGA Republicans from Pennsylvania, tried to disparage the state of Maryland, this is what Jamie Raskin, the Democratic Congress member from Maryland, had to say. Play the clip. There's much left to say on uh, the substance of this amendment. Um, I did hear uh, my, my colleague from Pennsylvania make some sort of disparaging remark about Maryland and about how he didn't live in Maryland, where apparently we don't understand the value of money. Well, uh, the land where we actually are standing today used to be part of Maryland. It was ceded by Maryland to Congress for the purposes of creating the District of Columbia. And when our capital came under attack, by violent insurrectionists and those who were chanting, hang Mike Pence, and who were determined to overthrow the 2020 presidential election, there were hundreds of police officers who came from Maryland to join the Metropolitan Police Department and the Capitol officers in defense of the capital of the United States. So I take umbrage at any insinuation that the people of Maryland need to take a backseat to anybody in terms of the defense of the principles of this country. So I would thank Mr. Perry for a correction about that. And uh, I'm happy to reserve the remainder of my time. I mean, I love the energy of the new Democratic Party in this Congress. It is absolutely incredible. This is not just the right messaging. This is just the right way to fight for the American people and to discuss the issues that matter and to point out the hypocrisy within the ultra MAGA Republican Party. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 1 million subscribers thanks to your incredible support. Hit the subscribe button right now. Also, check us out wherever you get your audio podcast for free. Search the Midas Touch Podcast. Just search it. Hit subscribe there. And also check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Midas Touch. Patreon dot com slash Midas Touch. Until next time, I am Ben Micellis. The best part of waking up? Maggot Tears in my cup. Check out the new Maggot Tears mug available now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com. It's 100% union made right here in the USA. I know I'm not tired of winning yet. How about you? Get yours today.